Thanks, Judy. Yeah, the New York Fed in its fourth quarter household debt and credit report reporting that debt surged by $394 billion in the fourth quarter. That is the largest increase in two decades. Breaking it down, mortgages up a strong $254 billion. Credit cards up $61 billion, the largest quarterly increase in the history of the survey going back to 1999. Auto loans up and student loans as well. Now, as far as delinquencies, they did tick up for credit cards, auto loans, and mortgages, but the rate or the level remains at or below the pre-pandemic level. Trouble is the transition into them. There have been some worrying increases in the, to the tr transition of delinquency rates. So a blog by the New York Fed, the company, this report says credit card borrowers are missing their payments and transitioning to 90-plus day delinquency at a rate higher than they had before the pandemic. Guys, all we can do is watch this. We don't know how much stress there is, but certainly there is some increasing reliance by households on debt. Plus you have the uh, uh, higher interest rates and that's part of the reason why mortgage, mortgage total balances may be going up. Steve, might we be boiling the consumer frog here? I mean, with inflation ahead of expectations, right? Stuff is still kind of expensive out there and then with the credit card uh, usage being higher and the interest rates are higher and the Fed, you know, people are saying, I heard you this morning, that the Fed is going to have to keep raising for a longer period of time. Yeah. I mean, that's a vice that's tightening later in the year, isn't it? John, John I, can, I want to reject your metaphor of cons comparing the consumer to a frog, but I can accept your premise that that is certainly <laughs> something that's happening out there. Um, I think the idea, you do have strong job growth, you've had strong wage growth, um, and so there is scope for consumers to bring on additional credit. You also have this idea that if people believe inflation is temporary, they could use credit to what they call smooth out their spending and their lifestyle over time. Um, it gets into trouble if people lose their jobs, lose their ability to pay those uh, balances as well. That's where you get into trouble. Your delinquencies have really not become worrisome or recessionary levels yet. The hmm. thing to watch, the way I compare it, John, is think about a lake, which, okay, the water level of the lake is below where it was the pandemic. That's the total debt level. The flow into the lake is higher than it was before. So we have to watch this 90-plus delinquency transition rate. And uh, the um, New York Fed in the blog, John, pointing out that it's especially difficult or high among younger borrowers.